Hello again. So we're back on the beautiful River Trent. We're having an afternoon session. It's, well, it's about three o'clock now. So I've only come for three hours. We're fishing Waggler at three or four road lengths out. And we're feeding empen tears, open for some big roach again. It was a beautiful day, must be 23 degrees. It was raining heavy this morning. So I thought we'll give it an afternoon session today. Weather forecast is good this afternoon. So I'm fishing. Double maggot over empen tears at the moment. We've got casters. And I'm picking nice quality dace up and perch at the moment. The bridge in the background is Gunthorpe Bridge in Nottinghamshire. And we're fishing the Knots Anglers AA members only search. But you don't have to sign your life away to be a member. Not Nottinghamshire tackle shops, you can just wander in and pay your membership free. But they've got plenty of water around Nottinghamshire, ponds, parts of the river. But it's a lovely place to fish, very picturesque. Not fished here for quite a while actually. So I've got, I've got about eight foot of depth on. I've not plummeted yet, but I'm going to keep going deeper. If I'm not getting bites, I'll go a bit deeper. But I've gone to about eight foot and I'm getting bites, so I'll stay at that for the time being. But I've not dragged on at all yet, not dragged on the bottom. It might be nine, ten foot maybe. It's a lovely way of spending an afternoon, especially when the weather's nice. So I'm feeding them pentiers, purely hoping we can get the big roach feeding. I can't quite my mind up yet. Uh, the last few weeks I've been fishing August and September, whether the bigger roach are just in the deeper water and they're avoiding shallow depths. I think if I don't have any big ones today, I think that'll probably convince me. When I say big, I mean 10, 12 ounce plus, pan plus. It's a little bit closer that time, and I'm maybe just dragging on a little bit. But I do know this stretch is full of tiny fish. It's loads of bleak in days. And unless I'm going to feed really heavy with maggot, I'm not going to put any in. I'm using a three gram waggler so I can flick it out with just a sideways, sideways flick. It's about perfect for this distance. I've got a four gram, we've even got five gram versions if we want to go any further out, but this becomes a little bit more difficult to catapult bait out at that distance then. So I'm hoping within an hour, we've got well, roach queuing up would be nice. <laughs> Maybe I'm dreaming. I'm fishing through the layers on the drop. With a couple of droppers below me swivel which is my main weight. But what a beautiful day. So if I fed maggot, I'd be bite a chuck within a few seconds, but there'll be lots of like this, lots of tiny fish. Now that is tiny. <laughs> One of the smallest roaches you're ever likely to catch. <laughs> we'll put three maggots on there, trying to deter those fish. If you're fishing like this, just remember to check your line back just before the float hits the water. And straighten your rig out. Oh! Oh yeah. That's a better one. A 
Is it going to be a perch? I think it is. Almost disappointed when you get these, when I'm after roach. It's a good perch though. Not took it on the drop. That's fish. Half a pound maybe, maybe a bit more. Yeah, he's probably chasing them roach. <laughs> so there must be some really big perch in the tent at the moment. Probably only eat small fish though. Another perch. Oh, somebody was chasing after it then. It wasn't very big, it's probably a perch. <laughs> That's a very lucky roach. So the swim's gone quiet. But uh, no bites for a couple of runs. Maybe three runs through, no bites. Double caster, no bites. Maggots untouched. To me, that can only mean one thing. That's a, a pike or a big perch in the swim. When we're getting a bite of chuck on maggot and to get nothing at all. I've flung the depth and I'm about right depth there for about two rod lengths out, but I'm now fishing three rod lengths out. So I've gone up about another eight inches, 10 inches deeper and I've picked a bite up straight away and caught like a little roach. So I've been catching perch, so chances are some bigger ones come through and I even had one chasing a roach on the way in. If the rope size don't pick up after another 15, 20 minutes, I'll start feeding a few casters. And if I get really desperate, I'll start feeding a few maggots. It's a, a swim I've never fished before. No clue if there's any big roach in here. If you've fished these stretches before and you've emptied it or any good tips for it leave a comment maybe you think oh I was fishing it all wrong I fish here every week and bag up so leave a comment let us know what you're up to So I've now changed my approach. I'm feeding maggot and castor, and I've stopped feeding them and tears. And I've picked a decent roach up. I 
might be the fish you've, you know, hardly ever seen it, hemp and tears. Certainly the tears. So we'll go back to something they might recognise and try and build us from that way. So putting a full patch of maggots and castor in. See if it encourages bites. Just another bite then. Nice days. Straight away getting good bites again now. Fishing double maggot have a maggot and caster. I'm only fishing for three hours, it's going to feed quite heavy. fish oh it's a chub chublet nice to see every granddad down there I was tripping bottom of so I'm fishing a little bit shorter now and I've come up about 10 inches. So I'm, I'm only a few inches just off the bottom at the moment. Slightly better if it's just rolled in the swim then. again it's a bit further out from my float oh yeah the perch Single caster, biggest roach of the day. <laughs> Not massive, but I don't want to worry swinging it in. Lovely. And that was just on single caster, a bit further out. It's nice to see a decent roach come out. And a little quick bite on caster there. 
and just reduce the feed a little bit. Like 20 maggots and 20 casters. As for being paranoid, after a few patches of maggot and caster, I thought I saw something swirl underneath the surface. Like there was a predator came in and had a swirl, had a swipe at some of the dace and that were coming up for the maggots, casters. Since then, I've not seen any little swirls for, for the bait. So I could have one of them swims. It's got predators in it. Well, if you've never fished here before, we're on the speedboat stretch, the stretch where you're allowed to go fast on the Trent. I'm amazed there's not more boats on here actually. You're allowed to water ski here as well if you wanted to. So, so far we've had chub, chub, dace, roach and perch up to, well, up to about eight ounce. And if you can see that in the distance, but there's people jumping off Gunthorpe Bridge. There's somebody on the top of the bridge now, stood up. Looks like they're going to leap off. There's one in the water who's just dropped off. And there's police now on the bridge. <laughs> the blue flashing light on the bridge. That chap who was going to jump off looks like he's gone now. Looks like the police have told him off. Maggot. Single maggot. Still got it in. Nearly missed her. There's a few signs of more fish in this room now. There's a few topping. There's a underwater footage of a roach fishing session on YouTube. I think I've put it in my light box or under my features angler section. Oh yeah. 
Oh, that's a nice fish. Is it going to be a perch? Yeah, nice one there. Yeah, and there's, so there's underwater footage of a roach fishing session. And a pike visited the swim a dozen times for the session. Loads of perch. And the roach are constantly on the lookout and they're going backwards and forwards out the swim. But they come back very quickly onto the feed. Nice, nice perch this one. Lovely. That's what's chasing after all the roach. <laughs> so, 10 ounce. But at the moment, there seems to be full of perch, the, uh, the River Trent does. Really is. Another perch. Quick look at the rig then. So I've got a three gram Drennan Waggler. You've seen that on the other videos. Two stoppers that slide up and down the line. Four pound main line to a swivel about 18 inches from the hook and a three pound trace with two little droppers on there. And so the swivel is the main weight on the line. I'm going to give it half an hour like this. If I don't pick any better fish, a big roach or chub up, I'm going to feed in a heavier, a little bit further out. Probably big patches of maggot and just experiment, see if the fish will really go wild for the maggots if I feed heavy. So it's quarter past four at the minute, so I've been here fishing about an hour and 15 minutes, probably got oh, 25 fish. I 10 perch. Maybe more than that, 30 fish. This fish is pretty good, including uh, that um, Quiet spell as well. We've not managed to get anything on tier. Best roach on caster. Ooh. Must be full of perch down there. So I, I can become a bit obsessed with fishing for big roach and fishing on empty tears. But it doesn't work every time. So I've not fed any empty tears for half an hour now and there's more fish in my swim. A lot more bites. I've picked up 
um, a few nice fish as well. Seems like a nice dace. Another good perch. There must be thousands of these down there. Perhaps got to swung this one in. It's no wonder I'm struggling to get roach in this way. <laughs> Must have had 25 perch now. Easy. And again, little in this top. Another big dace. I've not had any little dace at all. They're all the two to three ounce ones. There's just a few fish coming up to snatch the bait off the top again, so I might shallow up a bit. But you can see that there's a couple of fish but well, when this has happened before, within a few minutes, a predator's come chasing after them and they've, they've gone again. What's that one? Lovely big days. I'm using a, a little eight, size 18 maggot hook at the moment. Perfect for this type of fishing. So if I got, really got them going on tears, I'd change to a 16, a slightly wider gate. There's fish swirling in the swim again now for the bait. <laughs> right, so we're two hours in now. Probably got, we're catching on maggot and caster still. We've had a couple of goes on tears, a couple of sharp bites, but nothing, no fish. I think we've got about 25 perch, 15 roach up to about five ounce, I mean the perch up to about 10 ounce, and then probably a dozen dace or so. Probably, I say we're around about 50 fish. One, one little chub. So it's quite nice, it's really nice fishing. Lovely afternoons. Fishing and waggling on the trend, it's lovely. Just no real biggins at the moment. So we've got probably got about one hour left. Fish till about six. So there's plenty of fish topping, so I've shallowed up. Uh, and I'm shallowing up one, one section at a time. I shallow up the length of the float, so then I keep a track on what I'm doing. 
can measure it against the eyes against your rod but when I'm shallowing I like to just do it the depth of the float and I know where I am with it I'll do a couple of runs through Let's see if we've got anything Let's see if we get any bites I think he wants me to move so we can eat the maggots I've dropped in the I've dropped at my feet. <laughs> nice roach. Lovely. And caster. Two consecutive roach. Oh yeah, it's a better one. Well, it's a roach. It's fighting like a roach. Ooh, it's a big dace. It's a skimmer. It's a hybrid. Almost for six, seven ounce. Cross between a roach and a bream. Now oh, they are nice to see. We used to get thousands of them in the 80s on empty days. That's a nice fish to catch. Maybe your granddad's down there. Or some bream moved in, who knows? And that's at the slightly shallower depth. Single caster. Dice come up in the water. Right, it's about quarter to six now. We've 
Sun's out at the moment, but I can see some dark clouds looming overhead and the sun's about to disappear behind those, so I think we'll call it a day there. It's been a, a lovely, lovely afternoon session. We'll get to back to wait and we'll have a look at what we've caught. Got one more fish. Oh, missed it. I've been trying tear since I've had that uh, bream hybrid, and a couple of little bites, but nothing, nothing really. A couple of little fast bites on it. They're back on the caster. Another bite missed. Get some fast bites on Castor now. Maybe they're roach. Last put in. Oh, yeah. We'll end the session how we started it <laughs> with a nice chunky perch. I think we'll call it a day at that. So it's been a really nice session. Love little sessions like this. Just come out, get the waggler out. Running through lovely. We've got quite a nice little nest of fish. Probably 25 to 30 perch. Another 20 roach. 15 dace. Something like that. Chub. Beautiful. Let's put them back. Look at that for a net of fish, lovely. For three hours in the afternoon. Yep. A perch stuck in the net. Beautiful. So Gunthorpe Bridge, River Trent, Knott's Anglers Waters, Pint of Maggie and Casters, but they didn't take the empty tears, did they? That's quite unusual, but just, I don't think there's a quantity of the roach there. Lots of other fish, lots of bits. Well worth a pleasure session. Uh, but it's not day tickets, it's Knott's Anglers water, members' waters. We're about 100 metres above Gunthorpe Bridge. But it's a lovely place to fish. I should definitely be back again. Might try a, further, a bit further down towards the bridge next time. See if the big roach are down there. Thanks for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe. Bye for now. Speak again soon.